Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. Anthony? We are still tracking uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms, some downpours. Nothing at the moment uh, being classified as severe. However, looking at uh, Smithfield, North Smithfield, Woonsocket, Cumberland, uh, you do have uh, a stronger, a heavier thunderstorm approaching your area right now. So naturally on days like this, we're going to start with Doppler radar and we'll show you that uh, that one uh, downpour now that's passing through the northern part of the state. First, give you the wider perspective to kind of give you an idea of some of the coverage. Uh, the green represents lighter rain. The yellow is heavier rain and the, and the reds are usually your downpours and your thunderstorms. And we know that this is a thunderstorm only because we have the lightning tracker turned on. So this is a Providence Metro uh, Route 295, Route 44. So Woonsocket, Lincoln, Smithfield, the 295 bend right in here. So this is a heavy downpour, uh, a strong high impact thunderstorm, but not being classified as severe, meaning, you know, damaging wind to 60 or higher, big hail, but it's thunder nonetheless. It is tracking off now to the north and east. We are approaching Cumberland and 114. The Attleboro's will hear from this shortly uh, as well as this. Uh, moves through and more activity out there. Now the visibility in Providence has come down uh, for a number of reasons. One, you have rain coming through. The humidity is high. This humidity acts like like a high octane fuel when it comes to creating some of these downpours and some thunderstorms. And you can see the reduced visibility in Providence right now. Looking at temperatures, which at one point were it was warm as 83 degrees early this afternoon when TJ was on doing the new newscast. Now it's down to 68 degrees. So the temperature has really dropped off over the last couple of hours with, with both the approach of a cold front and, and the rain cooling the atmosphere off. So as far as the threat tracker, we'll keep it elevated through about seven, eight o'clock this evening. So now till then, still a chance of some downpour, some thunder and some lightning. Once we get beyond that, the atmosphere starts to dry out. The humidity really drops and we're setting up for ultra comfortable weather later tonight, Wednesday and into Thursday. Very refreshing weather coming up. You see this precipitation still off to our south and west. This is along a cold front, the leading edge of drier air, which is still back through upstate New York and the Great Lakes. Here's the wider view and there's that cold front stretching down the East Coast behind that clearing weather, high pressure building in and dry conditions and low dew points. The green represents the high humidity still on top of us right now, but notice the light brown shading with dew points in the 40s that dry, very comfortable air headed our way later in the evening and during the overnight. So let's step you through this starting now still with scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder, but notice by around eight, nine o'clock in the evening. Most of this activity is now pulling away. So then the rest of the night beyond this should be dry, but the clouds will linger better part of the night. Here we are four o'clock in the morning. It's dry. It's comfortable. So tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. We are waking up to a clearing skies and developing sunshine starting off in the low 60s and just a very comfortable day. You step outside, you really notice the change in the air. Well, for starters, it's in the upper 70s and that's the pretty much the average high for this time of year. Very comfortable. Lots of sunshine tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Cooler tomorrow night with a uh, comfortable air in place. So for this evening, up until about say seven, eight o'clock this evening, a scattered shower thereafter it dries out and then the the rest of the night looks pretty good and it sets the stage for a nice streak of dry, pleasant weather Wednesday, Thursday, just an isolated shower on Friday. Friday is not a storm day or a rain day. Chance of a passing shower looking at uh, warmer, more humid weather coming up over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. WPRI.com to get your updated seven day forecast. But Mike, uh, some lawns and gardens getting a drink, cleaning out the pollen. Uh, be careful driving the next couple of hours. There's been some reports of localized street flooding, so common sense go easy on the gas pedal. I know people who work outside looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, this three day stretch coming up is really comfortable and even the weekend. Not bad, though it is more humid again. All right, Tony, thanks. Yeah. Still ahead on 12 News Now at 4.